joining me now is Kate Marie Engberg, a senior speaker who placed third in the state of California in her event, OPP, Original Prose and Poetry. Can you tell us what that is? Yes, um, so Original Prose and Poetry, it's a 10 minute speech and basically you're given the option to write whatever you'd like. Usually if people write stories, they can be comedic or dramatic. Um, and this year I wrote one about college admissions and the craziness of getting into college today. And you are one of the co-presidents on the team. What does that mean you have to do? Um, so this year I, w I had to take another class period of public speaking with the two other co-presidents and we help out Mrs. Plant um, with tournaments, planning tournaments, making the ride groups, scheduling everything, you know, planning hotel rooms for the state tournament and national tournament and it's a big responsibility but it's been fun. And how has public speaking helped you outside of the class? It's definitely helped me in other classes with other presentations. It's kind of gotten rid of that fear um, that a lot of us have. And um, I had a few college interviews, which was helpful, job interviews. I know it's going to help me in the long run. I'm sure. Thank you very much, Kate Marie Engberg. I'm Sarah Duplantic. Hey, Barb. Uh, you taking the SAT this Saturday? Oh, uh, hey, Nigel. Um, yeah, it's, it's my first time taking the test. It's kind of intimidating. Hey, you guys heard, right? Got a full ride scholarship for football, so Heisman, high five! Oh, uh, yeah, c congratulations, Todd. That, that that's great. Yeah, and also I heard applications are due two months earlier this year. I mean, I don't have to deal with that, but just FYI. Wow. Yeah, and I heard colleges want five SAT subject tests, all in different areas of study. I already took three sophomore year and two junior year. How many have you taken, Barb? What? Um. <laughs> Uh, I haven't, uh, gotten to those, uh, uh, quite yet. Yeah, and also freshman year, I staked out all my letters of recommendation. Wow, you, you, you're really ahead of the game. Yeah, and also I just wanted to say that I got a 2390 out of 2400 the first time I took the SAT, so needless to say, I have to take it again, but if you ever need any help, or, or tutoring, uh, candlelight, dinner, okay, well, I, I think that's the bell, but it was great talking to you guys. I'm Barb. Barb Traub. Don't you just love those conversations? You know, the conversations that stress you out, make you feel horrible about yourself, make you sweat until your glands are out of sweat secretions. <laughs> that, 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 that doesn't happen to you? Or... I mean, that doesn't happen to me. I'm just using it as an example. So. Anyway, as scary as it was to take these tests, I felt like I was finally tangibly working towards getting into college. But boy. <laughs> I had no idea what was to come of this college process. My first SAT was that Saturday, the moment I've been waiting for. Kate Marie will be attending New York University, NYU in the fall, to study film. Clearly, with her speaking talent, she will go very far. I agree. And lastly, we are able to get an exclusive interview with the renowned Sandy McGuire. She was head coach of the team for over 40 years and is widely known and acclaimed through many high school speech associations. Take a look. Mrs. McGuire, you are a legacy on the public speaking team. Can you please tell us a little bit about your relationship to the team and how long you've been here for? Well, I had a wonderful career, absolutely wonderful career in public speaking. I came to Vero in 1979 when there was only one class of public speaking and had the opportunity to have this elective grow to either four or five classes near the end of my career and had the opportunity to work with so many wonderful young people and watch them develop so many important skills for life. I loved it. I got to know a lot of the parents very well because this program cannot do well without the help of the parents, so I never regretted any of my time. I loved, I loved my job. And why do you think it is important that students take public speaking? I think public speaking is the most valuable class a student can take. And I have often read in the paper over the years when there is a survey and people are asked what was the most important class you ever took in high school or college. Many won't answer public speaking. And it's because a lifetime skill is learned. Being able to 
express yourself, to be assertive, to feel very comfortable in presentations, interviews, whether it's for college or later for jobs. So many ways it helps to advance a person. Thank you very much, Mrs. McGuire. Mrs. McGuire is a retired English teacher and CHSSA, California High School Speech Association Hall of Fame public speaking coach. I'm Sarah Duplansic. Thank you for watching. Well, that concludes this story. If you are a prospective student and haven't signed up for public speaking yet, be sure that you sign up for Oral Interpretation 1 and get ready to be a part of a team that is growing larger and always exceeding expectations. We know that this team will always carry on its tradition of excellence. But remember, it may be affected by the projected $4.8 million budget cuts for the 2010 to 2011 school year. So remember, the lucrative success stories and the ingenious leadership of the Marimani public speaking team. Thank you for watching. I'm Sarah Duplansic. I'm Maria Galindez. And I'm Helena Duarte. And, and as, as always,